Obama administration has used taxpayer money to place what is essentially a billion dollar bet on electric cars. And this morning we have a first look at one of them. A car that for all its sleek design and energy efficiency is also raising questions about whether it could end up as another taxpayer boondoggle. Fisker got a federal loan two years ago of more than $500 million. Vice President Joseph Biden saying the company would employ auto workers in his home state, Delaware. This is seed money that will return back to the American consumer in billions and billions and billions of dollars in good new jobs. And so far, the U.S. money has helped to create some 500 auto assembly factory jobs. But they are not in the United States, rather here at this plant in Finland. We're here standing today proving the beginning of what we're going to be able to say. The doubters were wrong about our ability to manufacture. The President and I have never doubted that we could write a new chapter in the automotive history of this country. Because we knew, for real, we not only had the best workers, we had the best innovators, the best designers. And that's what this is about today. It's about, it's about what we're about in this administration, rewriting a new chapter for our economy. And today, thanks to the Department of Energy loan and the Recovery Act grants for vehicles, electrification, for the innovation of Fisker Automotive, this factory in Delaware and the industry are going to get back up off the mat. And folks, in so doing, we're going to help some of the best workers in the world reclaim their jobs. And America, and America, America's auto industry is going to reclaim its world leadership. Since we moved from the horse to the gasoline engine, there has never been such a big change as is happening right now, where we are moving from the pure gasoline engine into the electrification of the automobile plug-in hybrids, for instance, like we're going to be building right here in this plant. 